feels his way into the woods, wondering where he is. Okay, so I've travelled to this mystical place to find the treasure of someone. Yes. So I'm pretty sure I have to go through these doors here, and I'm supposed to find it. So, it's in this house. The first objective would be to look in the chest, but I don't trust it. Second thing, eh, eh, eh. There we go, a sword, and an arrow. Okay, I'll keep the sword, but no thanks, Mr. Arrow. Okay, wonder what's in the chest. Doesn't seem like there's anything underneath it. There's a bit of stone. <laughs> Some music discs. This one seems cool. Yeah, I'll definitely play this one first. I like white. White's a pretty good color. Um, nah, not green. I feel like that one's gonna be bad, so I'm gonna put that there. Okay, let's listen to this. Uh, I I don't like that one. That's not good. Let's put that away. What about this one? Welcome. To um. Okay. If you guys, if you guys could hear that, pretend I'm not acting at this out. If you guys could hear that, um, I actually do have the Disteria text back on, so that was actually saying Disteria, welcome to what's called. But anyway, oh, this is pretty good. But honestly, I have to try the worst one. I'm gonna keep this one though. Huh? What? This is intense music to go in here. <gasps> I hope you guys can hear the music so I don't just sound stupid saying this. What is here? Young man or woman, you have found this. Yay, no treasure made you go on the hunt for nothing. Lol. Really? Re really? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how this worked. I don't care if you wanna know or not, but I'm just gonna show you, so yeah. How's it going, guys? My name is Axon Free, and as you just saw there, that was a little clip of what I'm gonna be showing you today's video. As you saw, when I put the far disc in, it opened up this. However, when I put any other disc in, now I've duplicated it, um, it will not open it up. Now I'd like to show you how to do this, since, like, I think it'd just be a cool trick to have. Doesn't open up. Uh, I already showed you the others. You get the point. So yeah. Um. So let's go outside this. I apologize for my badness of building. And I apologize for you seeing everything else. Yeah, this is my world. I'm just doing random tests and stuff on it. But here it is. So straight away, there's the jukebox. Compounder. One, two, three, four. Like some redstone. And there's a bunch of redstone. It's very simple. You can obviously make this a lot smaller. I just wanted to make this quite simple. Um, but yeah. So what it does is. I'm going to explain it to you here. So. It sends out a ray. Every time you put a disc into a. Hold on. Let me just grab a few out. I'll grab the first five to demonstrate. And I'll grab the sixth one. Just to show you. So anytime you put a disc in a jukebox, it sends out a redstone signal. I'm going to turn my music off. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but yeah. So anytime you put a disc in it, it sends out a redstone signal. For the first one, it's only one tick. For the second disc, it sends out a two tick. For the third disc, it's three tick. Fourth disc, it's four tick. Fifth disc, fifth disc it's a five tick. Now this is the one I chose to open up my thing. As you can see, take it out, closed, put it in, open. Now, this could be quite easily done, but then some people just forget the fact that they could just place in something totally random, like one more, and it wouldn't do anything. Now this is not the optimal thing, you should probably do that, then it'll be like possible for you to see even different change before it showed that one little um, flash back and forth, but yeah. So, the way this works is quite simple. I think you guys can see it all in about this rough look here. So, anyway, you have your jukebox, you have comparator, and you can change it to any length of disc you want by just like changing this amount of redstone, shorter, longer. Might have to compact it more if it was shorter or make it a bit. Yeah, I think you get the gist. So, the way it works is when I put in 
the one disc cross powers one. But when I put in the five disc, here we go, it doesn't power this. It powers this, which goes through this, which activates this, which deactivates this, which deactivates all of this, deactivating the pistons. However, if I place one more, and so it has six, it activates this whole circuit as well as the other one. This one denying this redstone from going through, leaving this redstone torch on, meaning that you can't get through. I should simply take a bit of bam bam, bam bam, and you have yourself a secret entrance where, oh, then, um, on purpose, like part of the video, 100%. So now you can see it's like, yep, secret, bam, jump through. Do you, whatever you want. So yeah, I think I just wanted to show you guys this as a little cool secret thing for not having uploaded in a while. Plus also, I just wanted to get some Redstone videos out since I enjoy Redstone a lot and I like showing off my talents. Yeah, I know. But yeah. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please leave a like for the music, which was amazing because of my stereo text back. And yeah, so I thank you guys all for watching, hope you have a good day, and I will see you guys all next time. See ya!